Good afternoon, everybody. David Schuster here on Take Action News, a special weekend show, April 20th edition. Joined, as always, by our executive producer, Daniel Marins. Darren, Daniel, how are you doing this? Uh, you know, I almost called you Darren. Daniel, how are you doing this weekend? <laughs> I'm doing great, David. It is. It has been a crazy week, a disappointing and sad week, but we have the pleasant weather here in, on the East Coast to, to, I suppose, console us. Absolutely. In fact, you know the, the the big story this week, and I think you put your finger on it. You're hinting at it. Is the um, the Senate was unable to move forward on uh, gun control legislation. Fifty four to forty six senators supporting background checks, a bipartisan proposal from a Republican Pat Toomey of Pennsylvania and Joe Manchin, a Democrat from West Virginia. They needed sixty to break a Republican filibuster. Uh, four Democrats, actually five Democrats, joined the Republicans to block this. Harry Reid joined just for procedural maneuver, so he would have an option of bringing it up. But a devastating setback for a uh, for a lot of folks uh, supporting gun control. And one of the most remarkable things that I saw Daniel in this whole debate was during this sort of vote, or right after the vote, there was a, there were shouts from the gallery, "Shame on you!" And the shouts came from two people who know what gun violence is all about: Patricia Mache and Lori Haas. Patricia Mache is credited with wrestling the shooter in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, to the ground, and then Lori Haas, whose daughter uh, was shot twice during the Virginia Tech shootings in 2007. So clearly, they're going to have a, some emotional outbursts and interests and frustrations when this went down. And the thing that got me is right after that, the, right after they sort of shouted out, they were then approached by Capitol Hill police officers, and they were the police officers asked these two women to follow him. They then proceeded for the next. Two hours, two hours they had to essentially endure a background check in which Capitol Hill police had to determine whether these two women were somehow a subversive threat. And to me, the fact that two women who know all too well about gun violence, they have to spend two hours because the Senate wants to do a background check on them, that somehow they are deserving in this sort of check, but people at gun shows don't deserve any check on weapons a larger threat. It's just, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And I think it just gets to the just incredible irony and hypocrisy and what it says about our society is just, you know, the senators care more about their own decorum than they do about protecting the lives of children in our society. Your thoughts? Yeah, David, absolutely right. I mean, there could be nothing more tragic, ironic, sad, almost, it, almost a parody of, of how absurd this whole thing is than the idea that two people yelling in a Senate gallery, exercising their free speech rights, were given this background check, and they were doing so to protest the blocking of a bill from, from receiving a vote to require universal background checks on the guns that killed their, their friends and loved ones. 